Hi. Never on stage, and you can imagine how nervous I am right now. So um, we'll see. So I'm here to. Sorry, I can't see my notes right now. Will be a problem. Um, I tried to start without notes then. Um, I'm going to talk some about community, but before, uh, try to understand what a community is. Uh, for me, it's like uh, the community is the world, because the community exists of the same thing. It's people doing stuff. It's you people together with me doing stuff. We do stuff together. And that's what Media Evolution is all about, uh, doing stuff together. So this is how it starts. Uh, OK, it's already there. I'm good. Uh, the first uh, version of Media Evolution started in 2005. Um, it started when we saw a trend, worldwide trend, that was like uh, everything digital, everything new digital, every process, every new uh, product, every new service needed competence from the different parts of the digital world. And that convergence, as we call it, that meeting between different, uh, different knowledge didn't happen. And if it happened, it happened too slow. So our thought was quite simple. If we make a platform, that make this go a little bit faster, make people to meet, make convergence between companies, organizations, different parts of, of the digital world, like uh, television people meet, people who make computer games, computer games make uh, uh, mobile phones, etc. It would be better. We thought the progress would be a little bit better, and we thought it would make more business and, uh, well, progress. Quite simple. Uh, it's not that simple, of course, but uh, it worked, so we did. And uh, what happened was that uh, we built it together. Uh, we built something that uh, hasn't to do with us at all, the Media Evolution platform, because we actually quite soon realized that we couldn't do anything, that everything was within the members, within the community. I'm not going to strip all down, I'm just... Uh, uh, well. So, but it took a while to learn that, and it's this trip I want to tell you about how it worked. Uh, this is what we do today. We work with three things. Competence, we create markets or market creation, and we work with building communities. And when it comes to competence, it's quite simple. Uh, we've got about 400 members, 400 members organization. We try to raise their level of uh, competence, and we try to raise their customers, uh, users, or collaborators' competence, and so forth. We can build better products, better service, higher level of innovation. Simple again. Uh, market creation, also quite simple. Uh, a very small part of the society as a whole is digitalized today, and we believe that about 100% will be. Uh, it takes time, but we try to just make that progress go a little bit faster. Um, and last but not least, building communities. This is a community. You are a community, and the conference is a community. I'm going to talk a little bit more of that later on. And uh, we build a house called Media Evolution City. That's a community. Uh, so we try to build platforms, communities. We, in Swedish, we can call it meeting places, but places for people to meet, places for different competitions to meet, and we believe that stuff happens when people meet, because we believe it's about people. So, Media Evolution City. Um, it's not very complicated that either. It's a house. It's a couple of hundred meters from here. It contains 500 people, 100 different companies. Um, we opened it two and a half years ago. It was actually full from day one. Uh, and that's uh, it's because the way we build it. Uh, we learned a lot from just building this house and this conference. Uh, we built actually a model, a physical model, 1.2 uh, meters long or something, invited everyone that was interested in this house, and we just said, okay, let's build a house and let's sit together in one house and let meet, let's meet every day and let's meet your competitors and your friends and your enemies every day. That will be progress. So we invited everyone and we showed them the house, the model of the house, and we asked them a couple of simple questions. If you're going to sit in this house, who do you want it? Want to be here? What do you want? What are your needs? What are your no-nos? And then we gathered all that information, and then we built a house. So what we actually did was building or creating a service before we built it. We actually did it for the customers. So the customers actually decided what we built. So that's why it was filled when we opened it. And today it's uh, very vibrant. Um, and this is what happens. 
500 of them are the emotional owners of the house. And that's because we built it together with them. They all had something to say about what they wanted in the house. Uh, and of course you can say, yeah, 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 emotional owners, I believe shit and that. But you know, um, I try it once in a while. I have something I call the, the what do I call it? The, the candy paper theory, I guess. Well, it, it's a new name today. I take a bit of candy paper and I put it just inside uh, of the entrance and then I clock it. I see how long it takes before anyone pick it up. The record is about two minutes. Uh, and that is what, because people own the ground. It's their house. They don't want trash on their floor. They want trash in the entrance where their customers are coming. So that is for me a very good way of actually testing if it still works and it still does. Actually, we are planning on building a new one because it's so fun and uh, the queue is long. Next one, it's the conference. It's this conference. Uh, we actually made our first conference. When you talk to Martin and the other ones that are working with it, they say that this is our fourth or third or five conference. I don't know really. Uh, we actually made conferences since 2005. But it was a little bit different then. The first one was about broadcasting and public service, I guess, uh, together with the Swedish telephone, uh, television company. Um, and it was OK for a couple of years. It was good, reasonable, about 300 persons. I guess people paid 150, 200 US dollars. Uh, it was okay. Uh, but we were totally not satisfied for doing stuff that is okay. It's not very fun. It's okay one time, two times, the third time it's really boring. So uh, it became something that we in Sweden call mellanmjölk. Uh, it's a milk that is non-fat. It's not very fat and it's not non-fat milk. It's a very ridiculous milk that you don't need. It's not a milk that you get up in the morning screaming, I want that milk. So um, we thought that, okay, we don't do this conference anymore. But around 2009, 2010, Facebook was all around and everyone was on Facebook. So uh, we thought that, okay, let's ask everyone that they want, what they want next year. Let's make the audience, let's make you build a conference. Um, and that worked pretty fabulous because it was I mean we got so many suggestions people were so engaged it was fantastic actually so next year or actually the year before I should say for us people came like this so if I should have a talk a couple of years ago you all be sitting like this and you would say okay show us now what you got asshole probably like that and afterwards uh, okay but I came every year but not very many next year people came like this let's see this shit we did together and everything was fantastic and with 800 people instead of 300, they paid 800 US dollars instead of 150. So everything actually raised. And now it's sold out every year. And it's because you guys built it. And uh, so what we learned from that is that over again, it's not us, it's you. But without us, there is no you. So it's the platform, the motor, and the way the motor listens. So we are the motor of the community. And we always have to learn to be better listeners. We have to see better and we have to hear better. And that makes this fantastic conference. I'm bragging about this conference, am I? Uh, so the same thing with the conference. 1,000 owners. It's your conference. Without you, there are no conference. Well, of course, it wouldn't be a conference if you weren't here, but we actually wouldn't have anything on stage if it wasn't for you. So that is, for me, true community building. It's true collaboration. So this is what we try to work every day on, and we try to make, find a recipe for making better collaboration with our customers or our members or the we. We never say customers, sorry. Sorry, colleagues. Uh, again, together. So that is actually the only thing we learned. <laughs> together is the real good thing. That's the most important thing. But we learned some other stuff also. So here are three goodies of those. Um, people seem to like things out of proportion. Uh, I don't know if you listened to Per Cromwell here yesterday when he was talking about uh, uh, things to stand out. I guess that was what he was saying. I talk about out of proportion. Uh, when we started it all in 2005, I was around talking about this house, the idea of the house, and everyone was just like, you're crazy, we can't build a house. But a couple of months later on, everyone was just like, yeah, this is, this is quite a good idea, isn't it? And I think it was not because it was a brilliant idea, it's because it was a little bit too bold. A little bit too bold for Malmö at that time, a little bit too bold for the community because the community was very small with no self-esteem. So I think that 
we needed a vision, we needed something a little bit out of proportion, a little bit too big to gather. And I think that is the case for very, a lot of things. Not to st only stand out, but to do something out of proportion. I prepared to say something about Disneyland and Mickey Mouse here, but I skip it. Next thing is change. Uh, we learn that we have to change all the time. When we started Media Evolution, everything was about cross-media. Nowadays, you don't talk about cross-media at all, not in that sense, anyhow. A couple of years later, YouTube came. <laughs> It's amazing that YouTube hasn't existed ever all the time. But, uh, and all of a sudden, everything was about moving media or film. Pictures and text turn into moving pictures. So everything was about that. Nowadays, we talk about convergence. We talk about digital evolution. Everything is to be digitalized. That is what's interesting right now. For us, it means that our members or community members are now not the ones that make the new the new products or services is the ones that actually use them or will be tomorrow's producers, like banks, we've got unions, we've got a lot of different, actually strange stuff <laughs> if you're talking about digital production, but they will be tomorrow's digital producers. Third thing, context. This is the hardest one for me. Uh, it's hard to talk about it because um, I haven't really got the words for it, but some of my colleagues sometimes get very angry at me because I use the word holistic a little bit too much. And of course, it's, uh, that's a very com complicated word to use also. But what I want to say with it is like, if you want to move small components and you want to see what a small component's going to be together in a, in a larger sense, you have, to have, you have to have a holistic sense of you. Uh, even if you're working with producing apps or producing something with digital communication, you have to understand why there is a war in Iraq and what is happening in China right now. And if you don't, you will not succeed. So the context is more and more important because the digital sphere is getting larger and larger and it affects more and more parts of our society. So I guess context is probably the word I will use mostly in the next few years. Okay. That means at last, what did we learn? Something like that. I don't remember the... Well, I won't ask you, Lars. I know it, but you know it, but uh, it's Greek. In Latin. Uh, okay. Community is about some things. Together is a very important thing for us. We do it together, we have to understand it. And by understanding that, we have to be better listeners, we have to be better learners, and we have to understand better, and we have to change. And the changing is probably the most important thing. There is a saying called, kill your darlings, but we think that don't get any darlings, then you don't have to kill them. I mean, it's stupid from the beginning. Of course, you can't have any darlings, because it will be something else tomorrow. And there are thousands of examples of things that worked yesterday that don't work now, and especially won't work tomorrow, and I guess you've got them all. Um, when it's about building community, looking forward to hear about Kickstarter, but for us, it's been uh, very emotional. Um, we that work with Media Evolution or Media Evolution City or the conference, we actually live and breathe it every time, all day, 24 hours a day, because it's very hard to understand what all you guys need, what all the 400 companies and the 400 organizations need, or what their world looks like and what they need tomorrow and what they need to, to, to gain progress. And uh, that's where we come to the most important thing. So it's about people. How many organizations we got is quite, quite uninteresting, actually, because it's the people at the organizations that makes the community. Uh, may sound very obvious, but it's, I think it's something we tend to forget a lot. It's about the people's power, it's about people's creativity, it's about people wanting to do stuff, it's people's movement, not organizations, not companies. So, at last, a word of wisdom for me. I should hear that every day, I guess. Ask not what you can do for, what the community can do for you, but ask what you can do for our community. Thanks.